Hi guys. Okay, so I'm so sorry this video has taken forever to upload. I don't think I've uploaded anything for like two weeks. Um, had a lot of stuff going on. Had a birthday. Um, 42. Which was really weird. And uh, anyone else in their 40s, once you get there, you're kind of like, how did that happen? Anyway, it was really mellow, but um, yeah, so here's a video I did around my birthday and um, it was for, it is for a commission um, for a piece, a uh, 12 by 24 in turquoise and lime green. So not a color palette I would go to a lot, um, but I like it. It's pretty, it's tropical. So, um, and I'm actually going to be doing another piece. Um, and kind of give, you know, the client a choice of which they prefer. I don't mind doing that. Um, so, yeah. Anyway, here's the colors. Let's get to it. Not in this order. I did not. It's Bloom, and I did not put them, them in this specific order. But it's just to show you. So the first one is Turquoise by Artist Loft. Just the level one. And then I'm also using Deep Turquoise by Artist Loft, level two. And then I'm using Greenish Yellow by Amsterdam. And then pigments, I'm using this little piggy in sea glass. And there's a dog hair on the top. <laughs> sea glass. Just what happens when you come to my house. Um, a really beautiful pigment. And then I'm also using... I'm so glad I had some left still because I actually don't have this pigment is Macaw by um, this little piggy and it is an interference and you can't really tell here. Um, I love this color. I can't believe I don't actually have a, a thing of it. Um, but it's an interference from like a green to goldy turquoisey bluey. I don't know. It's just beautiful. And then I'm using a double cell activator. So um, first I put down just a titanium white Amsterdam cell activator. And then I put the Winsor & Newton Payne's Gray cell activator on top of that. Um, normally I do the white drizzle just in my pouring medium. And then I put a dark cell activator on. But this time I did the double cell activator. And quite frankly, I like um, the titanium white in the pouring medium drizzle of that um, before the dark cell activator. I just think the effects are prettier. I get better effects for me, but if the double cell activator works for you, bleh, 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 double cell activator works for you, then that's awesome. But anyway, I'm gonna shut up because I talk too much, we all know this. So I'll get you down to the canvas and it'll be a little voiceover action. And um, yeah, let me know what you guys think. Hey guys, here are those colors once again, all laid out, and I don't know why I felt the need to do a hand flourish, but uh, there you go. <laughs> so I'm just going to talk for a little bit um, as I lay the colors down, and uh, yeah, so this is my Glidden Essentials in eggshell. I feel like I hadn't painted in a while, especially a bloom, and um... Yeah, this is going to be a single bloom right in the center. And um, I could have used a little less white. I don't know why I put so much down. But uh, regardless, here we go. The first color is deep turquoise. This is sea glass by this little pigment. This is greenish yellow by Amsterdam. It's actually a really pretty color. You should grab it if you don't have it. This is the macaw by this little pigment. This is turquoise by Artist Loft, but this is the level one. Pop a little bubble, pop, pop, pop. 
And then I'm gonna put down a white cell activator. And then the Payne's Gray by Winsor Newton cell activator. And um, I went ahead and pulled out my little Yeeho hair dryer for this one. I just was feeling a little tired and I was like, ah, I don't feel like blowing it out all the way <laughs> with my mouth. So I just did the tweaks. And um, yeah, so I do a lot of futzing with this right now because you've got a lot of black cell activator in the in the middle and I probably could have left it and it would have been fine but of course I went in there and um, you know blew on it a little bit to see what else I could get to pop up and then honestly it, it turned out great the center so And obviously this part is sped up a little bit. Let me know if you guys like that or if you wanna see the video in its entirety, like real time. I just speed it up a little bit because, you know, who wants to watch me blow out petals for, you know, four minutes or whatever. But maybe you do and that's cool. I just, for me, I'm like, ah, right, get to it. Like you wanna see it spun out. Um, but yeah, look at the center. It came out really nicely. Um, And I spin this one a lot too. So, oh, right, here we go. You gotta make sure, obviously, to smoosh out your pillow. You guys know about this. Um, make sure you do that. It just helps this paint spread. So I'm gonna spin this one a little bit. Actually, I'm gonna spin it a lot because there's a lot of paint on this canvas. So I'm gonna shut up, let you guys watch the spin part, and I will be back shortly. Hey guys, I'm back. So yeah, thanks for hanging with me through all the spinning. I had to spin this one quite a bit because that center is still wanting to move pretty fast. And when that happens, you really wanna to try to get more paint off or your drying conditions need to be excellent because it's gotta dry slow or you're gonna get cracking or it just gets funky in the center. It gets kind of piecey and uh, grainy. It has for me anyway, but this dried beautifully, I'm happy to say. And um, I actually spent it even a little more after I, I shut off the camera to show you the up close. But um, yeah, here comes in just a second here. Yeah, see, I'm still spinning. I just, I just wanted to make sure, wanted to make sure that it was okay. But I really like the cell structures. I think they look great. But um, yeah, here comes a close up. I mean, I really like these colors together. It is not a color palette I would go to, especially in the fall, winter, you know, but it's very tropical. And I think the macaw over that greenish yellow is so pretty. 
and I think I think it was the right call adding the sea glass just to add a little bit more depth and sparkle and the turquoises worked great and overall I'm pretty happy with this piece my camera wants to make the white look a little yellow but it's not it's it's white so um yeah I'm, I'm happy with it I really love doing these single blooms on these long canvases I think it's interesting um, yeah, here comes the center. I actually really like this center. It got funky and I dig it. But yeah, so this piece is done. There's gonna be some stills in just a second, but let me know what you guys think. And um, yeah, if you like this, give me a thumbs up, um, subscribe, share this video. And again, thanks so much for hanging out with me. See you soon, bye.